Good morning, this is Angela with Progress Permaculture. Today I wanted to take you with us on our trip to Bob's Red Mill, just south of Portland. Now, before I get into this video, I wanna say I'm not sponsored by Bob's Red Mill and I'm not sponsored by any of the products or apps that I'm gonna be talking about in this video. Our family is really conscious of our food budget and we are always trying to trim it down. I look for deals and I cook from scratch as much as possible. So today we went to Bob's Red Mill because there was a great sale on their old fashioned rolled oats. Now there's six of us in my family and we can go through a 50 pound bag of oats pretty darn quickly. I make granola almost every week. I make overnight oats. I do a lot of baking with oats. We heard about this sale through an app that my sister's a big fan of called Too Good To Go. It helps reduce food waste and you can get some really good deals. I was able to get a case of hemp hearts and a case of almond flour for 80% off. You pre-purchase it on the app and pick it up in the store. But while we were there, I thought let's go ahead and shop because Bob's Red Mill has tons of stuff for folks who love to bake and cook from scratch. Now they also have pre-made things like granola and mixes and stuff like that. But for me, I'm there for the basic ingredients. My sister is there to get things that are easy for her to cook. Um, and I am there to get bulk items. Now for me, one of my favorite things at Bob's Red Mill is their steel cut oats. They've consistently won international oatmeal competitions. When I make oats overnight in the crock pot in the winter, I use their steel cut oats and they turn out amazing. It takes time, privilege, and skill to be able to cook from scratch as a means to trim your grocery budget, and I realize not everybody has that available to them. I also want to recognize that my friends who have dietary concerns and have to use specialty ingredients are spending more on their budget. Bob's Red Mill is a place to find a lot of specialty baking ingredients for folks with allergies and food sensitivities. Now my kitchen is a veritable gluten bomb and I am there for the specialty bread flours as well as the things we got from Too Good To Go. Now today I was looking for a 25 pound bag of spelt flour and they didn't have it. They did have dark rye in stock. My kids aren't big fans of dark rye. One way I keep my grocery budget small is that I cook with what is available on sale and in season. And that means if there's no spelt flour on the shelf or if it is too expensive, then I'm not gonna purchase it and I'm gonna cook something else. I recently got a very good price on a 50 pound bag of whole wheat flour at Restaurant Supply. And I noticed that Northwest Ferments here has a number of sourdough starters, including gluten-free for my gluten-free friends but they had a whole wheat starter. And so I got that because I'm really wanting to perfect my 100% whole wheat sourdough game. Now, I don't generally have brand loyalty. I shop for what I feel is high quality and within my budget and supports local producers. And sometimes I'm willing to pay a little bit more to support a local company that I know does good in the community. By the way, Bob's Red Mill also has a restaurant inside. My parents liked to eat here and basically said the food was like a Portland version of Cracker Barrel. There's a refrigerated section for things that can go rancid quickly like almond flour and hemp hearts. And there's also a bulk section. Now I would encourage you if you are buying these products that can go rancid and have a lot of natural oils in them, store them in your fridge or in the freezer as well. Now Ruth and I were looking in the bulk section. You can see the items that we got here from elsewhere in the store. Bob's Red Mill used to have a amazing, delicious blue coarse ground cornmeal. And we were kind of hoping to find it amongst the spices and the teas and the other bulk items and we kept hunting and we could not find it you can see here we're like pondering where is it where is it and they said they no longer carry it so if you are in the portland area and know where i can find a good quality coarse ground blue corn meal it makes the most wonderful lavender colored rustic tart crust and i would love to find some more lots of other great things in the bulk bin always a fan of bulk bins you can find specialty items that you can't find pre-bagged elsewhere in the store. We also went and got some tea. It is going to be Bee's birthday later this month, and she is a big tea drinker. This local company had some beautiful artwork on the outside of their tea canisters, and we spent quite a while admiring them. As I said earlier, not everybody has the time or the ability to cook from scratch. Bob's Red Mill also has a lot of mixes, although you will pay a premium because they are doing the labor for you. I appreciated their commitment to stocking small items from local producers. Here you can see some local honey, 
Holy cow, I realize how much having my own bees is saving me. Honey is now $130 a gallon. Wow, that is so much. But you know what? Worth it, worth it. If you are supporting a local farmer and you can't keep your own bees. Lots of other specialty things. Here you can see the items that we ended up checking out with. These are mine and my sister's. She loves buckwheat head cereal. And we also were able to pick up our cases that we had pre-purchased from Too Good To Go uh, on the app ahead of time. They had them waiting for us at the front of the store. I hope you enjoyed this visit to Bob's Red Mill. I know I am looking forward to doing some future cooking videos with the oats and almond flour and chia seeds that I got. And I hope that you are enjoying this beginning of fall and finding a way to joyfully cook from scratch live within your budget, grow those skills that are so important to creating a sustainable household. I hope that's something that can bring you joy and not stress. I know for me, cooking from scratch is something I enjoy immensely and it's something that I can share with my family. Thanks so much for watching today. Please don't forget to click like and subscribe and I'll be back soon.